everybody. Good morning. My name is Miss Felicia and I'm here from Living Streets Alliance and the City of Tucson's Bicycle and Pedestrian Program. We're so glad that you've joined us this morning to play this super fun game called Riders and Walkers. Before we get started, I'm just wondering how many of you have heard of us, Living Streets Alliance? Can you raise your hand? Oh, there's some of you. How many of you have heard of the City of Tucson Bicycle and Pedestrian Program? Oh, I see a few more hands. How many of you have heard of Cyclovia? Absolutely, yep, Cyclovia, that's the one where we close down the streets and then we get to have walking and biking, yep, super fun. Um, how many of you have heard of a walking school bus? Okay, so some of those you have heard of and some of them you haven't. So don't worry if you haven't heard about them. We're gonna be talking about some of those fun programs as we're playing our really fun game, Riders and Walkers. But first, I want to introduce you to my friend, Miss Paula. Hello everybody, hello Felicia, it's great to be here. We want to let you know that here at Living Streets Alliance, we're practicing social distancing. So it might look like Felicia and I are in the same location, but we're not. We are in separate locations, all right? So in addition to social distancing, I hope you're all practicing washing your hands, not practicing, doing it. We're gonna practice right now. So um, you probably know this, but when you wash your hands, you wanna really scrub between your fingers. They're saying you should, we should do it for 20 seconds, scrub those thumbs. A good thing to do is sing happy birthday a couple times. Very good. Back to you, Felicia. Thanks, Paula. Yep, I like that song, happy birthday, to be able to sing that while I'm washing my hands. So friends, remember too though, just because we're practicing social distancing, it doesn't mean that we can't go outside because that fresh air and that sunshine is so good for our bodies. So go ahead and go outside and do some riding or some walking with your family. Absolutely. Okay, let's go ahead and think about what do we like about riding and walking? What do you like? Hi, yeah, I like to do that too. How about you, Paula? What are some things that you like about riding and walking? Well, I really like all the fresh air you get when you're outside in nature. And right now, does everybody notice how many wildflowers are in bloom? It's super nice outside. Absolutely. So just like Miss Paula said, when we're outside, we get to see some beautiful flowers. What are some things that are interesting to you that you get to see when you're walking or when you're riding? Yeah, absolutely, those are some fun things. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our game. Again, it's called Riders and Walkers. And so Paula, over to you as you can explain what we're about to do. All right, sure thing. So if you look at the board here, we're gonna be playing this game, like Felicia said, on this board and Look closely, and this board should remind me, Ryan, you have a board that you, a game board that you might, a game you play at home. Okay, let's go ahead and say it out loud. Okay, I heard a few of you saying it reminds you of chutes and ladders. Absolutely. It's a Tucson game, and you'll get to see through the game, there's a lot of Tucson locations, but the object of our game is for our riders and walkers to get from their home, so that's their home or apartment, and to get them safely all the way back up to school. So this is a school up here where the American flag is, all right? Now, along the way, they're gonna run into some of these chutes and ladders, okay? So let's talk about that them. If a rider or a walker lands on a green number, okay, when we're playing, you all need to say up, up, up. Everybody practice up, 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 because we're going to go up that ladder, okay? The opposite will happen if you land or the riders and walkers land on one of the red numbers, then they're going to have to go down that slide, and everybody's going to say wee when we go back down, all right? Back to you, Felicia. Thanks. Okay, so like we know, every game has some characters. So we're gonna introduce you to our Riders and Walkers characters. This is our friend, Sophia. Everybody say, good morning, Sophia. 
Alrighty, Sophia is in the sixth grade. She lives here in Tucson, and we're gonna be meeting her in real life in just a little bit. But let me introduce you to our friend who's gonna be leading us with the walkers team. This is Santiago. Everybody say, hola, Santiago. Great, so Santiago is also in the sixth grade, and he's going to be teaching us some safe measures that we need to practice while we are out walking. So let's go ahead and make sure that they're on our game board, and I think they are looking good at their homes, and they're gonna practice riding and walking safely to school. So, Paula, do you wanna explain the spinner that we've got here? Yeah, does everybody see that blue button there? So what's gonna happen each time it's a ride or a walker turn? I'm gonna hit that button, you can hear that. It's gonna cause the wheel to spin. And it looks like our walkers, Santiago and the walkers are gonna move to number 12. All right, and we're right there by the Reed Park Zoo, Felicia. Oh my gosh, I love the Reed Park Zoo. I heard that they're having a naming contest for the baby elephant. So friends, maybe when we're all done playing the game, if you wanna hop over to the Reed Park Zoo website, you could suggest a name for that baby elephant. All right, let's check out what's going on here at space number 12. Oh, let's go ahead and read together. Santiago is ready to walk. Nice job reading. Okay, let's see who's here with him. That is Santiago's sister, Maria. Maria is in the third grade and Santiago is going to be walking with Maria and showing her the ropes. All right, back to you, Paula. All righty, it looks like we have the riders up and the wheel is spinning to number 20. So riders are gonna to move to number 20 on our game board. Okay, and let's check out what's at space 20. Let's read together. Sophia wants to get to school. Huh, look, Sophia's got somebody to ride with her too. In fact, that's her dad, Luis. Everybody say, good morning, Luis. All right, so like we were saying, it's great to be outside getting fresh air and sunshine. Um, and so we're gonna watch Sophia and Luis Practice getting to school safely. Okay, Paula, I think, what's next? Oh, I think it's time to push the button again. All right, here we go with walkers. And the spin is, takes us to number 37. So walkers are gonna move around. What happens when we get to 37? Everybody say it. Up, 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 up. Awesome, that is so fun that they got to go up, up, up. Okay, let's read. Santiago asks his parents before going on a walk. Let's watch. Oh, there's Santiago and there's Maria and it looks like that's their mom. So good morning, mom. And it looks like they probably were having a conversation before Santiago and Maria went off for their walk. <gasps> oh, cool, a bonus question. I know Paula and I love these bonus questions. They're so fun that we get to uh, move ahead a couple extra spaces if we get the answer right. Okay, get your listening ears on and your thinking caps on and I'll read to us. It is very important that you talk with your parents or a responsible adult before going on a walk. Give me a thumbs up if you think that's true or a thumbs down if you think it's false. Yep, absolutely, it is true. Give ourselves some mini fireworks. Fantastic. It is definitely important for us to talk with our parents or a responsible adult before going on a walk. You've got it. Paula, what's going on here? Oh, I'm just gonna move them up a, a space or two since they got the bonus correct, Felicia. Awesome. Right here, yeah, right here we're looking at a map and it looks like they're talking to their mom and maybe pointing out a better way or a route to school on the map. So they're showing their mom what they're gonna try. Absolutely, they are finding a safe route to school. All right, back to the game. Go ahead and push that button, Paula. That's so fun to push that button. Here we go. And the riders are gonna to move to 27. So here we go. 
to 27. Let's say it. Up, up, up. Awesome. Okay. Sophia got her bike ready for the ride. Huh. Let's take a look at what Sophia is doing to get ready for that bike ride. Yeah, I see that too. What else do you notice? Yep, for sure. And what else? Absolutely. Okay, so I know you all can't hear what our friends are saying, so I'll go ahead and say what we heard. We saw that uh, Sophia is checking her tires to make sure there's air in them, and she's got that helmet on her head to keep her head safe, and she's got a water bottle because it's important to stay hydrated here in Tucson. Absolutely great job, friends. Oh, cool, it's another bonus question. I love these. Charades challenge? Hey, Paula, what's the charades challenge? Oh, I just love charades. Raise your hand at home if you've ever played charades. Oh, good. All right. Well, in this game, this game of charades, we're going to, or this challenge, we're going to have Felicia act out because you know with charades, you can't be talking, Felicia, okay? So you get to act everything out. And these are all going to be things of ways for you to get ready for a bike ride, things you need to do to get ready for a safe bike ride, okay? So Felicia, go ahead and get started. Okay, so it looks like she's going up and down. She's, oh, is that, uh, Felicia, are you checking your tires and then pumping? She's got a bicycle pump. All right, let's see. Yep, good job. Felicia, you're good at that. And you're guessing at home too, second one. Oh, she's putting, are you putting a hat on, Felicia? Oh, no, no, wait, she's buckling. She knows that she's gonna put a helmet on, all right? Boys and girls, did you get that one? All right, good. She's putting on a helmet, buckling underneath. Good. All right, third one, Felicia. Okay, she's taking a top off. It looks like she's oh, adding something. Oh, we need to do this in Tucson, boys and girls. What is it? You got it, Felicia. Good work. She is filling up her water bottle. We need to always take water on those bike rides. Good work. Okay, next. She's squeezing something out. What are you putting on your hand, Felicia? Are you washing your hands? Oh, no, no. She's putting it all the way up. Ah, boys and girls, what's she doing? Yeah, great job. She's putting on her sunscreen. That's important also in Tucson, water and sunscreen. Absolutely. Oh, oh my gosh. Paula, that was so fun. But I want to guess. So can you do one? Oh, I would love to. Okay, see if they can get this. Okay. Uh, you're scratching your ankle because it's no, uh, you're, uh, you're tying your shoe. You <laughs> awesome. Wait, oh my gosh. That was so fun. Everybody give ourselves a big round of applause. Woo, woo. We are master charades people. That's something you can do for fun with your friends too. Oh, and we just got there straight through on that timer. I'm going to ring Ooh. the bell, Felicia. They did so well. Right? Yeah. Hey, those bells are a good safety tool also. They let other people know that we might be coming up behind them. So when we're out biking, we want to make sure that we're paying attention. Let's check this out here on our picture now. We've got on our left, there's Sophia with a don't and Sophia on the right with a do. I think those are some things that we should be doing when we're practicing being safe on our bicycles. Boys and girls, what do you notice? Yeah, for sure, she shouldn't do that. Yeah, I agree, she shouldn't do that either. Nope, I, yeah, no, not that. You guys, yeah, absolutely. If she did those things, that would not be safe. Looking at the do side, what are the good things she's got going on over there? Absolutely, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. You guys just like shouted all of them so fast because we just did them in the shreds. But let's <laughs> check it out. Over here on the don't side, we can see Sophia doesn't have a helmet on. Oh my goodness, she's got like earbuds or something on that's covering her ears. How is she gonna be able to hear if there's like traffic coming up or somebody ding-dinging on their bell to say, hey, I'm trying to come by. 
Yeah, no water bottle. She is going to get dehydrated. That is not good. Oh my gosh. Yep, those shoelaces, they're untied. Yeah, they can totally get caught into those gears. Hey, anybody have ever happened that to you? Yeah, it, yeah, it happened to me too when I just kind of went boop. Okay, and then the last one, oh, absolutely, those tires are flat. Oh, when my tires are flat, it takes so long and it's so much harder to pump on my bicycle. So make sure we're gonna do the do's on the right-hand side. Absolutely, that helmet that is on, our ears are not covered, we've got the water bottle, we've got those tied shoelaces and the tires are pumped up and, hey, Paula, you got a helmet right there too? I do, check out my cool helmet and and I'm gonna practice just like buckling it too so that we can, we always buckle it underneath our chin, just like that. Yeah, right. awesome, cool, I love that. Okay, let's keep moving Sophia and Santiago along on the game. Ready to push that button, Paula? I sure am, Felicia, here we go with the walkers. And they're gonna move to 98, wow. It's red. Bummer. Red, it is. What are we gonna say? We're gonna go wee. And we just wee. get to go down that part of the slide, but. Yeah. Red, something was dangerous. Oh my goodness, friends. Let's read together. Santiago crossed in front of a truck and the driver couldn't see his sister. Well, I think it's a good idea to cross in front of the truck, but I don't think it's a good idea if the driver can't see Maria. Let's take a look at what the driver sees. Oh, there they are. Oh, where did Maria go? All I see is Santiago's hat. Yeah, I don't think that looks safe either, friends. Okay, let's go ahead and watch and see how Santiago can do it differently and make it more safe. Yep, there they are walking. Okay, friends, what did you know that was different? Yeah, I think so too. Paula, what did you notice that was different? Well, it was much safer, everyone, because we could see that they walked further away from the truck. So that driver, because it's that camera is right there where the driver is, is able to see both Maria and her brother. That's terrific, much better. Absolutely, we wanna make sure that we are gonna be safe and we are seen when we are out walking or biking. So here's just a little quiz question, friends. All right, thinking caps on. Do you think it would be safe for Santiago and Maria to cross behind the truck? Thumbs up if yes, thumbs down if no. Yeah, it would not be safe for them to cross behind the truck. Then the driver absolutely could not see them. What about walking right up on the sides of the truck? Thumbs up if you think it's safe. Thumbs down if you think that's not safe. Absolutely, that is also not safe. Repeat after me. Blind spot. Great job. A blind spot is something here on the side of the vehicle where unless the driver looks over their shoulder, they can't see you. So it's super important to make sure that you're not gonna stay in a driver's blind spot. All right, that was a lot of safety messages. Just a reminder, my name is Miss Felicia. This is my friend, Miss Paula. We're here from Living Streets Alliance and the city of Tucson Bicycle Awareness Program. Oops, just kidding. Bicycle and Pedestrian Program. And we're here just playing this fun game with you guys. So let's get back to the game. Paula, go ahead and push that button. I sure will. We're on the riders this time, and our riders are going to move to 52. So here we go. 52. Uh-oh. What are we going to do? Whee! Whee! We're riding all the way back down to number 25, right by the signal there. Oh. All right. Let's check out what's going on here. Let's read together, friends. Sophia rode on the wrong side of the street. All right, let's watch. There's a car. Oh, look, there's Luis and Sophia. Oh my goodness. Just 
squishing right there. Really? Cool. So I've had friends tell me that they think it's safer because they can see the traffic coming towards them. But you know what? It's actually more dangerous because the rules of the road say that bicyclists should follow the same rules that the cars do. And that means that we need to ride right. Can you say ride right? Great job. Okay, let's check out what's happening here. Paula, you want to talk us through it? Sure. Oh, it looks like Louise and and the daughter there. Oh, they're riding the bike on the right side. They're riding right. And Felicia and everyone, yeah. I noticed too that it looks like there's hardly any traffic on that street. So they picked a, a route or a road that doesn't have a lot of traffic. Great work. Absolutely. There's going to be, uh, it's going to be much safer if we're riding away from traffic. All righty. Here we go. Oh. Time to push that button again. Okay. Here we go with the walkers. It's spinning to, what does that say? Number 70. So walkers are going to go to 70. Uh-oh. It's red there, Felicia. Okay. we. We need more practice, apparently. Let's mm -hmm. check it out. Okay, let's read. Santiago didn't pick the best route to school. Hmm, let's watch what's going on here. Here they come, walking to school. Santiago looks a little confused and, oh, oh I think that they're lost. I don't think they know what the best route is. Can everybody say route? Great job. Hey, Paula, what is a route anyways? Good question, Felicia. A route is like a way or a street or a path. So it's just the way you're going to get somewhere. So yeah, it looks like they both want to go in opposite directions. <laughs> that doesn't look very good. Yeah, I don't think they know where they're heading. Okay. Oh, it's another bonus question. Awesome. I love these. Oh, there's that word again. Okay, which is the best route? Hmm, take a look at it, friends. Notice what the differences are. And go ahead now and hold up one for option one or two for option two. Oh, okay, let's see what our game says. It's two, give yourself a mini fireworks if you got that also. Yeah, two is absolutely the better choice right there. Um, just like Miss Paula said earlier, when Sophia and her dad were riding, remember? They rode on the street that didn't have as much traffic. So that might mean that you're gonna have to walk a few blocks over just to stay a little safer, but you know what? That's better, and you get more walking and more energy in your bodies too. Hey, talking about walking, let's go ahead and do a little walking break. Ready? Everybody walk with me. Pump those arms. Great job. And go ahead and you can lift your knees up as you're walking. Marching, marching, marching. Walking, getting our blood pumping. That's something that's really fantastic about walking. Okay, let's celebrate and give ourselves a little cheer and let's spell out with our bodies the word walk. Ready? Okay, don't be embarrassed. Just do whatever comes to you. Okay, here we go. Give me a W. I love it. Give me an A. That's my A, like the YMCA. Okay, give me an L. I'm just gonna make a straight arm up. Straight, stretch, stretch, stretch. And now give me a K. I love it. Okay, do it again. Ready? Give me a W. Give me an A. Give me an L, give me a K. And one more time for good measure, here we go. Give me a W, give me an A, give me an L. Reach for the sky and give me a K. Bring it in friends. Awesome, give yourselves a big round of applause and wiggle out, wiggle out, wiggle out, get all those wiggles out. And whew, I think we're gonna take a look at our friends planning. What are they doing over here, Paula? Well, it looks like they're showing their mom uh, a map 
And that map, maybe they're trying to find a new way to school or a better route to school. So that means they're going to look for a, a, a way without traffic. Even if it's an, an extra or another street over, it might be safer. So they're showing their mom. Absolutely. And here we can see that mom and Maria are practicing. Remember, Maria is a little bit younger than Santiago, and it's great to go practice with a responsible and trusted adult so you can see any obstacles that might not show up on that map. Alrighty. Oh, it's time to push that button again, Paula. So we're going to have those riders move to 40. That sounds good. Okay, so coming around. And what are we doing? We're going up, up, up. And we just passed the San Javier mission on that. Great job, everyone. Ooh, the San Javier mission is so beautiful. I, I like to go out there with my family and just take little walks around that area. Because remember, it's okay, even during social distancing, to be outside in the fresh air and the sunshine. If you're just joining us right now, my name's Miss Felicia, and this is my friend, Miss Paula. We're here from Living Streets Alliance and the City of Tucson's Bicycle and Pedestrian Program, playing this fun game, Riders and Walkers. Let's see what's going on. Can you read with me? Sophia decided to ride her bike. All right, here comes Sophia and her dad. They're coming down the driveway. They're slowing down before they enter the road. They're looking to make sure there's no traffic and away they go. Great job, Sophia and Luis, getting into traffic safely. Ha! Another bonus question. I love these. Oh, what's this one about, Paula? This one is called the benefits of walking and biking. So we'd like for you first to think of what is a benefit of walking and biking? But first we should explain, right, Felicia? What is a benefit? So I'm going to ask you all what a benefit is. Okay, good. I heard somebody say it. A benefit is something that's good for you. So what's good about walking and biking? So that's really important. So we'd like you to, we're going to talk about those. But I think, Felicia, what we'll do is we'll mention some of the things that students tell us when we're out at the schools, all right? So I think the number one thing that students tell us about biking, a benefit, and walking is it's fun. OK, raise your hand if you agree that it's fun to walk or bike. Oh, absolutely. Um, they also mention about exercise. So you're getting some great exercise. Felicia's already mentioned that. Your heart, you're getting your heart rate up. You're getting stronger muscles. Look at those muscles. Now this one, <laughs> your, this one your teachers and your parents like. It really helps you to focus more because it's helping your brain, right? So you can focus more at school, even when you're doing your school at home right now, and you get better grades. That part's really good. OK, a few more that students really notice. And this one particularly I like a lot. There's a lot less traffic and air pollution, right? Because when you're riding your bike or, where, or when you're uh, walking, are you using any gasoline? <laughs> Absolutely not, right? So you're saving on that. Um, another thing is to spend time with your friends and your family. Right now, you should, you're focused on your family. You can spend time with your family when you're doing it. Um, we talked about stronger muscles and your heart helps. And what about this? Does it ever cost us anything to walk or ride your bike? Felicia, would it cost anything? All right. Let's give a round of applause. They, they did, I heard a lot of those that we held up from our students in the audience. Good. Awesome. That was so cool. OK, and here we can see a picture of some of our friends out there um, just having a good time with their friends walking and biking. I can't wait until we're able to do that again safely. Right now, we do it with our family members out in the fresh air and sunshine. All righty. Back to the game, and it's time to push that button, Paula. My favorite part, Felicia, pushing that button. Here we go. The walkers are going to go to 17, all right? Because remember, they, can't, they slid back down. Um, and 17, oh my goodness, it's, it's a red one. So they're all the way down toward the beginning, Felicia. <laughs> Stinkers, sometimes we need to learn the lessons again and practice more. Mm -hmm. So remember, this is a game for fun. It's not about winning. It's just about us getting to school safely. 
All right, Santiago was texting and almost got hit by a car. Oh, Santiago, what are you thinking? Okay, let's watch. Here they come, the kids. There's a truck coming. Oh my gosh, I can't watch. Oh, that, oh, that was so scary. I, Santiago, do over, dude. Come on, let's go and try that again, buddy. Okay, here they come walking, no phone, no cell. Oh, whew. Maria wasn't paying attention, but Santiago was. All right, everybody give Santiago a big thumbs up. Yeah, he did a much better job that time. That was so scary. Whew. Um, here's our safety message that we want everybody to remember. Come on, Miss Paula, let's do it. Ready? Okay. Be, be safe. Hey. Be seen. Awesome. Let's do it again, friends. Ready? Be safe. Be seen. And you know Miss Felicia likes things in three, so here we go. Be safe. Say it with confidence. Be seen. You've got it. Great job. Oakley doakley. Time to push that button. All right. Our riders are going to move to 70. So here's our rider. And we're going to go over here to 70 and oops, it's a red, so we're going wee. <laughs> Man, sometimes it's frustrating for me, like having to go back and practice things again, but mm -hmm. I know it's good for us, so good. let's well check it out. Okay, let's read, friends. Sophia almost got knocked down by a car door. All right, let's watch. There's Luis. There's, so oh! Oh, Paula, what just happened there? Wow, that was a close call. Look at that. But she, Maria was really, uh, Sophia was really alert because she stopped and she didn't hit that uh, lady and the door, okay? So what we need to remember, boys and girls, is that, again, we want to be safe and be seen. Was, was Sophia seen there? No, she wasn't. So... Boys and girls, what should that driver have done that was getting out of their car? What should they have done? Felicia, did you notice? and driving. Something that I like to tell my friends is if we see people starting to text and drive, we just say to them, no thanks, that's not safe. Can you say that with me? No thanks, that's not safe. Great job, friends. Alrighty, let's keep going. Oh, what's going on here, Paula? Wow, I see, I see a person that's on their bicycle at nighttime, an adult, and it's really good to see that they've got a, two lights on their bike, a headlight and a tail light. Can everybody see those? Good. Yep, and I also noticed that she's kind of reflecting too, so everybody go ahead and make some reflecting. Awesome, yeah. We want to make sure that we are safe and we are seen. All right, <clears throat> let's read the safety message again. Ready, go. Be safe, be seen. Say it again. Be safe, be seen. Fantastic. Whew, time to push the button again, Paula. The walkers are going to go to 11 because they're down here and past here. So they're over by the Repark Zoo now, Felicia. Back walking to the way. zoo, walking, walking, walking. There's a nice walking path around that Reed Park Zoo, talking about walking. Alrighty, let's read together. Santiago stopped at the edge of a street. Okay, let's watch. Here come the kids. They're walking, it's the edge of the street. They stopped. Oh, look it. Oh, it's a good thing they looked because there's a car coming by. 
there they go, walking safely across the street. Okay, friends, let's practice. Ready? Let's start walking. Walking, 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 and I'll cue us in. When we're getting to the edge of a street, okay, we're at the edge, we're going to stop. Oh, good job. Do that again, friends. Walking, we're walking, and we're getting to the edge of the street, and we need to stop. Perfect. It's really important to make sure that the drivers know that we're going to stop and wait, and we're not going to just run out. Okay, before we cross, what do we need to do? You've got it. We need to look left, look right, and look left. You want to look left first because that's where the cars are coming. And then look right, make sure there's nobody else coming that way, and then the left, and then go safely. One more time practicing. Okay, here we go. Ready? Walking. Great job walking. And stop. Look left, look right, look left. Looks good to go. And away we go across the street. All right, Paula, I think we're ready. Okay, here we go with our riders to number 20. So we're here, and we're going to move all the way to 20. There we go. Awesome. Okay, let's read again. Sophia stopped at an intersection to cross the street. All right, Paula, why don't you talk us through this next video? Okay, well, first of all, they're walking by. Whoa, did you see that car that stopped, please? They saw it, and there they kept on walking, okay? Yeah. Should we watch that again? Yeah, let's, let's watch it again. And there they are. We can see that they're stopped a little bit further away from the intersection, waiting for the light to turn green. It's changed and they're going and, oh, that car didn't go, but Luis made eye contact with the driver. And then they're like, yep, we're gonna go first. And they're walking. Remember, it's a crosswalk, not a cross ride. Hey, it's time to go spinning again. Here we go, Paula. Yeah, speaking of walking, here go our walkers. And they're going to, they got a 34. So walkers are going to go around to, where's 30? There's 34. We're right near the base of A Mountain in downtown Tucson. Ooh, show me an A, everybody. Yep, an A for A Mountain. All right, let's read together. Santiago uses a push button crossing. Hey, raise your hand if you've ever used a push button crossing. Yeah, some of us have. Let's watch what happens. Sister wants to cross right here and Santiago is like, yeah, no, that's not a good spot to cross. Check out over there. There's a push button crossing. And away they go walking towards it. Let's catch up to them. There's that push button crossing. Paula, have you ever used a push button crossing? I have, Felicia and everyone. I see them at a lot of the schools when we go and visit schools to do this program. So there it is. Yeah, should we show them the video? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So I see, oh, it looks like Mom, and it looks like Santiago and Maria walking across the street. Now, they, even though they had the push button crossing to tell them to go, did they still look for traffic, boys and girls? They sure did because they wanted to be safe. Everybody do it. And they wanted to be seen. Good. Awesome. Yep, that is a crossing walk uh, with a crossing guard there. That's a school crossing zone there. Pretty cool. Ooh, another bonus question. I love these. All right, figure out what's going on here that's good. Shout them out to us, friends. What are you noticing? Yeah, hey, what did you hear them telling us, Paula? Wow, I heard some really good answers. First of all, they noticed that they were following the instructions of the crossing guard, such an important position. And they're walking their bikes, which is good. And then I have a question that's part of the bonus for everyone. If you, can, if you know the name of one of your crossing guards at school, say it out loud. Go ahead and say it. 
Okay, I heard of some of you talking about Mr. or Mrs. so-and-so. Excellent. Those crossing guards have such an important job. They always carry that stop sign so the cars can pay attention. And do you all notice they always have a reflective vest on? Okay, back to you, Felicia. Thanks, Paula. Alrighty, it's time to push that button. Ooh, green. Right. Riders, here we are, riders, going to 27, and they're going up, up, up. That's a good thing. Yep, up, up, up we went. And let's go ahead and read. Sophia got good exercise and helped the environment. Let's watch. Yep, here they come, riding those bikes on a street that doesn't have a lot of traffic. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. Everybody give them an air high five. Fantastic way to go, Sophia and Luis. Oh, whew, hey, it's time to push the button again. Here we go, walkers are going to move, spinning the dial to 40. So here's our walkers going to 40, and they're getting, it's green, so they get to go up, up, up. And they're right Ooh, here up, downtown up, by the up. courthouse. Ooh, the courthouse, yep. That's an important place. Okay, let's read. Santiago had fun and saw things that he had never seen before. Let's check it out. Oh, look it, it's this really cool mural. There are so many amazing murals all throughout Tucson. And then on the ground there, I see, ugh, Paula, is that trash? Oh, you know what? It, some, some kids say it is, but it isn't. If you look closely, those are painted rocks. Look how neat they are. Felicia, also the fav my favorite part of that mural, and I think uh, Santiago's pointing to it, is the cloud. Can everybody see that cloud and what it looks like? Yeah, oh. beautiful, beautiful murals in Tucson. I want to be a cloud. Let's be clouds. Let's float. Woo, nice job. Floating, floating, floating. Alrighty. Oof, I just I just keep feeling like I need to wiggle around. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, time to push the button. Okay, here we go with our riders. And our riders are gonna to move to 54. Okay, so here we go. Wow, and it's green, so we're gonna go up. Felicia, they're kind of up by the school now. Check it out. Oh, hey, they are. They're really close to the school. Let's see what's going on. Okay, let's read. Sophia practiced to improve her riding. What's going on? Oh, cool. Luis put up some cones for Sophia to practice maneuvering. Oh, and now they're practicing their turn signals. Yeah, it's super important to make sure that we communicate to others around us what we're doing. Okay, let's practice, friends. So pretend you're riding your bicycle. We're riding, we're riding, we're riding. We need to let the people behind us know what we're going to do. So if you're going to turn left, you need to point to the left and hold out your arm. Great job, friends. Okay, now pretend that you're going to turn right. We're going to hold up our arm like this. Show me. Fantastic! And then when we're going to stop, we're going to bend our arm down like we're saying stop. Don't come any closer to us. Okay, so again, left is straight out, right is pointing like to the right, and stop is here. Okay, ready? Get on your bikes. Here we go. Pedal, 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 pedal. We're pedaling. We're coming to an intersection, and we need to turn left. What are you going to do? Yep, yeah, absolutely. All right, get your handlebars, your hands on your handlebars again. Pedaling, pedaling, pedaling. Coming to another intersection. Oh, yep, yeah, we need to turn right. Show me. Great job. Okay, hands on the handlebars again. Keep going, pedaling, pedaling, pedaling. Oh, there's a stop sign up ahead. We better tell the folks behind us, stop. Amazing. Okay, couple more practices. Show me going left. Good job, pedaling, pedaling. Oh, you're pedaling fast. Show me going to the right. Good job. Pedaling, 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 pedaling. And show me you gotta stop because you're gonna get off your bike and go up to your house. 
Fantastic. Woo! Great job. Go and stretch those arms out again. Give yourself a nice squeeze and hug. Okay. Let's go ahead and get back. Yeah, because after we bike, we do, we want to stretch out a little bit, huh? Hey, Paula, that looks fun. What is that? Whoa, that looks like a bike rodeo. So this is something that when you go back to school, tell your teacher when you're back at school in the future um, to have a bike rodeo. And you can see the kids are all practicing different safety things. Felicia and we were just practicing stopping with everybody. So can everybody see that stop sign there? So they're stopping, right? Okay, so remember, a bike rodeo, lots of good safety and fun. A bike rodeo sounds so fun! Yeehaw! <laughs> Can't wait to have one. Alrighty, time to push the button again. And our walkers are going to move to 72. Walkers, it's 72, and we're going up, up, up. Oh, Felicia and everyone, we're over by the saguaro. There looks like there's a road runner standing on top of that saguaro. Road runner, me beep, me beep, running around, <laughs> probably away from the coyotes who are howling. Oh, okay. Let's read together, friends. Santiago joined a walking school bus. Remember we talked about a walking school bus earlier? Well, this is a walking school bus. And that's one of our friends from Living Streets Alliance who's going on the walking school bus with Santiago and Maria. They are so fun to be able to go on walking school buses. And they're a lot safer. What's going on here, Paula? Wow, it looks like they are actually doing the walking school bus. I really like those pretend school buses. But look how everybody in that neighborhood, they're all like walking together. So one of the purposes of a walking school bus is you can learn in your neighborhood who's walking to school. So you have friends to walk with. Absolutely. And when we're walking with them, a larger number of people, then we are definitely going to be seen, and so we can be safe and be seen on a walking school bus. Cool. Uh, just a reminder, my name is Miss Felicia, and this is my friend Miss Paula. We're out here from the Living Streets Alliance and the City um, of Tucson's Bicycle and Pedestrian Program um, here playing this fun game called Riders and Walkers. And it's time to push that button again and get moving. All right, let's continue with our game. And we are continuing with the riders who are going to move to 98. Wow, that's one over, but it's a red. But we only have to go down a short slide. So we, we need to practice some more. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Let's read, friends. Sophia didn't ride with her hands on the handlebars. Okay, let's watch what happens. Here's Sophia. Oh no, Sophia, she's crashed and she's maybe hurt herself a little bit. But you know, whew, good thing there were no cars that were there because that would be absolutely super dangerous. Okay. Looks like it's time to go again, Paula. It sure is, and we're back to our walkers. And our walkers, the dial's showing us to go to 97. All right, wow. So they're at the top of the ladder, not far from school, everyone. Can everyone see where they are? Absolutely. All right, let's read together. Yeah, Santiago walked safely. Let's watch him walking safely. Oh, he's far away from the traffic. He's holding on to Maria just to make sure they're not going to get separated. Great job. So let's watch again about how we shouldn't be walking. Paula, what was wrong with what the kids are doing here? Well, for this one, they're they're not being safe, and they're not being seen, really, because they're too close to the edge of the road. Can everybody look and see? Point to where you see the sidewalk. There is a sidewalk over there, um, over by the houses, yeah. And so that's really where they should be walking, because that driver 
What if they're not paying attention? Well, Santiago and Maria, they can't see the driver. So remember, everybody do it. We're going to be safe and we're going to be seen. Great job. Awesome. Back to you. Thanks, Paula. Oh, cool. A bonus question. Loving these. All right. What keeps you from walking and biking more? Huh, Paula, what are we going to do here? Okay, well this time we're going to talk about some of the things our, our friends, students have told us about what might uh, prevent them from it. So, first of all, I'm going to read you the first one, then Felicia will, and we'll continue. So, what we want to do is raise, is you're going to raise your hand, Okay, well, in this case, you're going to raise your hand, right, for the first one. And, and you can, when we go over these different ones, you can raise your hand again. It's all, not just the first time, okay? So raise your hand if it's too far for you to walk or bike to school. Okay, so raise one of your hands for that. Okay, Felicia, I can see quite a few hands being raised. Okay, back to you. All right, so our next challenge is maybe there is no one to walk or ride with you. Raise your other hand if that's the case. No one to walk or ride with you. Yeah, bummer. Sometimes there's no one to walk or ride with you, but you know what? You can be creative about this, and you can maybe get that walking school bus going, or you can get a bicycle group going. So there's always somebody that we can kind of check out and see who could maybe go with us. All right, back to you, Paula. Okay, our next statement for you, raise your hand if your neighborhood is not safe to walk or bike through. No, not your hand. This time I want you to give one clap. That's what we want you to make it different. One clap if it's not safe to walk or bike through your neighborhood. Felicia, I heard a few claps out there, and this often happens when we're at schools. Yeah, yeah, sometimes there's like big dogs or, you know, there's construction going on. So remember, friends, you can always look for a safer route with your grown-up, pull out that map and go practice like Maria did with her mom. Okay, here's another one. <clears throat> you are maybe Okay, I hope nobody responds to this one, but you just don't like walking or biking. If that's true, go like this. Ha! I fooled you because when you go like this, it means you like something. So I'm hoping that anybody who did this is going to be thinking, oh, maybe I do like walking and biking. And some of those benefits are pretty cool. All right. Hey, Paula, are there some other things that sometimes keep you from walking or biking? Yes, you know, it didn't happen long ago where I got a flat tire, you know, because where I live, there's lots of cactus, and I think one of those cactus vines got in, so I had to wait a while to get a new tube for my tire. So sometimes that happens, but what I did instead was I got out there and walked. Awesome! Yep, because we can always find another way to get that fresh air and sunshine. Alrighty, let's check out what's next. Okay, it's time to push that button again. And our riders are going to move to 54. So here we are. And 54, oh, they're going to go up, up, up. And it looks like they're actually right next door to our walkers. Ha, they can say hello to each other. Yeah, they're right near school. Yep, okay. Sophia plans to do a walking checklist when she gets home. Hey, that sounds like a lot of fun, Paula. Like, we can go home and we can just be writing out some things that we think we really need to do when we're walking and things we need to watch out for. That sounds like a good activity to do. So kids, when, you're, uh, when you've got some time later, go ahead and make your own walking checklist for fun. Thumbs up if you think that sounds like a fun thing to do. Cool, we're gonna be looking forward to hearing about those. Okay. Oh! What is that? What is going on, Paula? Oh, it looks like we've got some, speaking of construction, which you mentioned, we've got some construction going on at the school. Our friends here, you have got to pass this construction quiz so we can open that back up. So are we ready for that? 
All righty. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask these questions, and then you got to answer them in this five different questions, okay? And see how you do. And I bet you're going to do well. Okay. Question one is what do you need to do to get ready for walking or a bike ride? Okay, question one. So, yeah, um, I heard a bunch of you tell us you just need to check with a responsible or trusted adult. Absolutely. Okay, what's question number two, Paula? All right, here's question number two. What do you need to do to get ready for your bike ride? All right, kids, what do you think? Tell us. Yep, what else? Yeah, can you, can you think of one more? Absolutely, yeah. Some of you were going all the way down with those arrows, remember? Starting from the top, making sure that you've got your helmet on. Number two, making sure that you're not going to have earbuds on because you want to be able to hear. Number three, making sure you've got that water bottle. Uh-huh. Number four, making sure your shoelaces are tied. Number five, at the bottom, thinking about those bicycle tires. Yeah, and absolutely. Okay, you're right. Yeah, the sunscreen. Yep, you got it. You guys are keeping me on my toes. Thank you. Okay, question number three. Over to you, Paula. Thank you, Felicia. Okay, question three is what do you need to do when you come to a curb? So at the end of the street, at the curb, what do you want to do? Can you show us? Ha ha! Okay, I'm going to do it with you. Yep, we're going to be walking like this, and then when we get to the curb, we're going to stop. Yep, and then, absolutely, you're going to look left and right and left. Oh, great job, friends. Okay, question four, Paula. All right, question four is actually a fill in the blank, and we'll see how you do with this one. Uh, when you're out walking and biking, you want to be blank, and you want to be blank. Uh -huh. So you can do the hand motions too. Go ahead, Felicia. I, I know, I cheated, I got excited. That's right, be safe and be seen. One more time for good measure, be safe and be seen. Perfect. Oh, I think there's only one more question left, Paula. Is there only one more question? One more question. Are we ready? Let's see if you can get it. What are the benefits of walking? Five benefits of walking and biking. So remember, those are our advantages. What's good about walking and biking? Think of, think of what we've talked about before. Yeah. Oh, you guys were so excited. Absolutely. It's fun. Yep. And it's good for our bodies. Show me those big, strong muscles that we're going to get. Do all that flexing. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Yep, it's better for our environment. We're not going to have that stinky exhaust, that pollution that's going around. We're going to be saving our fossil fuels. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. And we're going to be saving money. Absolutely. You guys, those were great. Give ourselves a big round of applause. Because I think... Oh my gosh, Paula, we're going to take down those cones. I oh. those. They passed, Felicia. They did awesome. Okay. Awesome. Uh, All right. Oh, hey, they're both going to get to go for this spin. Go ahead and push that for us, Paula. Riders and walkers, both are going to move to 100. Okay, 100 is right by the school. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so exciting. Here they come. Da, 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 da. I think they've made it. They're probably saying good morning to their crossing guard. And thank you. Absolutely. There they go. They are safely there. And let's jump on over. Here they come. And they're disembarking so that they can... Yep, you've got it, guys. So they can walk through that crosswalk because it's a crosswalk, not a cross ride. Oh, I hear them saying good morning and thank you. Oh my gosh. Hey, friends, this was so fantastic. Everybody's made it there safely. So let's read this together on three. One, two, three. We did it. Yeah, give big fireworks now. You guys, that was so amazing. We are so glad 
that you were able to come join me, Miss Felicia and Miss Paula, and Living Streets Alliance and the Bicycle and Pedestrian Program. We're so glad that you guys were able to come and spend some time with us today. We just want to remind you to be safe and be seen. You want to add to that, Miss Paula? Well, we sure had a great time. You guys do an awesome job, and we feel already that you know a lot more about being safe and seen when you're out walking and biking. Now, remember, this has been recorded, so you've watched it live, but it can be, you can tell your friends and tell others to watch it again, or if you want to watch it again. Back to you, Absolutely. Felicia. Absolutely. And then when you're all done watching, don't forget, you can still go outside and walk or you can go and ride your bike in the fresh air and in the sunshine with all of these safety practices that you have been learning. So again, we're just so glad that you joined us this morning and we hope you have a beautiful day. Bye now.